welcome to the Malix Minute, ladies and gentlemen, starring the Markley Brothers as Malix, Linus, and the Snufflefungus. Ugh, haven't we lived with this stupid theme song enough? No! When will the torture end? When this Snufflefungus stops dancing. Hey everybody, welcome to the Malix Minute. I'm Malix, and my friends Linus and Snuffy are hosting the show with me. Hope everybody had a good Easter. I sure did. Easter? Kid stuff, man. That stuff is for kids. But I like candy, and I'm not a kid. I mean, I am a kid, but I'll always like candy. Easter's not about candy anyway. Oh? No. Haven't you seen The Passion of the Christ? What does that have to do with candy? <sighs> Nothing. Easter's when we celebrate Jesus coming back from the dead. Wait, I'm confused. Never mind. We have a show to do. No, no, keep talking, it's funny. Well, all I know is I like candy. Well, you've been carrying that marshmallow bird thing around all week. What are you doing, waiting for it to get stale before you eat it? No, his name is Peep, and I will cherish him forever and ever. Snuffy, you know that Peep is a type of candy, not the name of a friend. Why can't it be both? Just eat it. Everything will be different in the morning. Moving right along, does anybody know where this red phone came from? It's like it appeared on the wall overnight, and it's about Snuffy's height, too. It's mine. What the heck is it for? It's my direct line to secret that I cannot reveal. All right then. Well, I got an anonymous tip earlier that... Uh, what? That's mine. I'll get it. Hmm. Secrets, huh? What? Yes, sir. Right away, Mr. President. Well, guys, gotta go. Bye! Man, this is three weeks in a row now that one of my main characters has bailed out on me. It's because you're unpopular. Great, thanks. Well, as I was saying, before that darn phone interrupted, I got an anonymous tip earlier about a really odd, cheap-related disturbance on the other end of town. I think it would make sense to go investigate it. Well, heck, I'll go with you. Sounds like good fun. But I thought I was unpopular. Sure you are, but I don't mind being seen with you, if you try not to be too obnoxious. So what seems to be the problem, Mr. President, sir? Oh, thank goodness you're here, Mr. Fungus. Shh, don't call me that. My ultra belt turns me into ultra snuffy. Well, whoever you are, the town is in desperate need of a superhero. Shh, don't call me that either. Superhero is a trademark owned jointly by Marvel and DC, so if they hear us use it, they'll sue the pants off us. I'm an ultra hero instead. Oh, it's all fish and beans to me. So what was I saying? You said the town is in desperate need of an ultra hero. Oh, that's right. There have been a number of reports about disturbances in the sewers. One lady said she heard that rock music wafting up from her latrine. Well, it sounds like a job for Ultra Snuffy. Boy, it sure is spooky down here. I want my mommy. No, Ultra Snuffy is brave. Ultra Snuffy is strong. Ultra Snuffy will get to the bottom of this. Now, I'll just sneak forward so I can see. What's going on here? Looks like there are strange, small, green, gooey creatures dancing around that throne. Huh? Is that Potty sitting on the throne? Hey, who's that over there? Get over here! Ah, my cover's been blown. I remember you. You're Snuffleupagus, one, one of that stupid Malik's stupid lackeys. You're stupid, that's what you are. Anyway, what are you doing here? What are you talking about? I'm not Snufflefungus. I'm Ultra Snuffy. And I've come to investigate some strange disturbances down here. Should we eat him, oh great noisy one? I will not tolerate disturbances of the peace. Ultra Snuffy will fight for truth, justice, and the Ohio billion way. And that means, you know, keeping the peace. Peace? Ah, I don't see anything Ultra about you, so I'll just ignore everything you say. Get him, boys! Attack! Aha! Observe my Ultra <laughs> Observe it and weep! Run for your lives! <laughs> Whoa! Did you... Did that? I, I mean, I, I had no idea you were actually Ultra. Yes, yes I am. I am Ultra Snuffy. And if you don't stop disturbing the peace, I'll have to get all Ultra on you too. Sure, sure, I can quit terrorizing people in their most vulnerable moments. Anyway, uh, can I borrow your belt for a few minutes? No, you'll be good. Ultra Snuffy must now leave. Today's episode is copyright 2007 by Alex Markley. This was a production of the Malix Media Network. Please visit us online at malixminute.com for production credits, extras, and a complete archive of classic episodes. God bless and have a great day! Mission accomplished, Mr. President, sir. Why, thank the heavens. The idea is some hideous creature coming up out of my privy when yes, I'm yes, in the- that sounds quite frightening. Anyway, I had better go. Malix and Linus might get suspicious if I'm gone too long.